Hey. All right, so after sanding and restaining and sanding and restaining and then sanding and repainting, I finally put on the clear coat. Uh, um, of course, it's not perfect, but that'll be my fingerprints on the guitar. That's what I tell myself. So, <clears throat> that's the back plate. I just finished using up all the clear coat I had. Because it's like 35 bucks a can. It's 2K clear. I had just finished repainting the face here with the cranberry color. Because, well, it was so messed up. I had to keep sanding and sanding and sanding. And a couple of spots I got through the uh, the color. So I taped off the whole guitar except the front. And then put a final coat of the cranberry color. And then about 20 minutes later, I started spraying the clear coat. The people at the paint store said, uh, well, I, yeah, the last time I sprayed the front and I was, I went down to buy the clear coat. I asked them, so should I send the paint before I spray this? And if I should, what should I, you know, should I use 600 grit? Should I use 800? And they said, well, when you finish the, the paint, the, the color, you know, give it about 30 minutes and start spraying, uh, start spraying the clear coat. And it was already too late back then because, <clears throat> gee, I thought I had the uh, face painted really nicely but after messing around with the sides and the back the face was messed up so yeah that's been like two months and uh, going back and forth getting rid of all the scratches that I didn't see when I stained the back and the sides, I finally got them where they should be. And by then, the face was so scratched up, I had to uh, redo that. And so here we are. I sanded and sanded the face and got it really nice sprayed the color and then started the clear coat i'm hoping that's good it's not perfect because yeah we got a hair bit of a bleed from spraying the face of the guitar but we'll see once I start uh, flat sanding the whole clear coat. Yeah, maybe I'll deal with those edges. <laughs> those edges. Or maybe I'll just leave them like they are. So once that's, that's dried... I'll uh, 
flats in the whole thing. And if it, uh, you know, if I don't run into any uh, difficulties, yeah, I can put it together right after that. I've redone the neck also a number of times. Well, let's see. It's not as smooth as I like. So I might do a little more scuffing and putting more oil. The neck is done with just the stain and then Danish oil so maybe another coat of Danish oil I don't know that fretboard killed me over and over and it's not as beautiful as it would have been if I had done it right the first time but, yeah, at some point you have to say, well, that's enough, but, yeah, I don't mind it looking, it looks well used, so, I think I'll stay with that, and as soon as I, uh, flat sand the body, I'll glue in the neck and we'll go from there so that's the guitar update hope you're having a good day it's a good day for me uh, I've been awfully lazy over the summer not wanting to be out here messing around with the guitar but It's a beautiful day today. It's only 90 degrees in the middle of October. So, yeah, this is uh, our kind of weather. I'll update you as soon as I do more. I'll see you. Have fun.